morning everybody it's monday morning and we got a lot of running around to do we've got some vintage merch to pick up and we've got some stuff that we want at auctions to pick up so we're going to bring you along with us Never took a left. Aww, oh, that cart was a jack of you. Oh my god, oh my god. Oh my god. Ew, this looks terrible. Wanted to show you this behind me real quick. If I can. That is what our mail lady is going to be dealing with a little later today <laughs> she is not going to be happy but yeah that was a good weekend if we're here, we'll help her then. yeah if we're here we'll help her but um we've got like i said a lot of running around to do ordinarily we would have taken that to the post office but we have a kind of a time limit on everything here so sorry i mean she likes us we give her christmas Thank gifts you. and stuff so it's not that big of a deal, but yeah, that's what we're going to be doing today. We're going to bring you along with us and, uh, should be lots of fun. Stay tuned. Hey, so we're on interstate 79 heading north towards Erie, but we're not going to Erie, Erie. as much as we'd like to go to Erie, Erie. go to Lake Erie, hang out on the, the beach. really just a beach full of like tiny little rocks i mean it's fun but it's not a beach uh so yeah anyways we're heading north 79 uh going to pick up our first load of stuff and uh we'll talk to you when we get there sarah's here oh. she's full of color commentary today that's all very good to me. anyways heading out so we'll see you when we get there. All right, we made it. We were at our one of our favorite auction houses so far at uh, Bullock's Bid and Buy in Grove City, Pennsylvania. Got some really cool stuff here, so I'm gonna try and give you guys a sneak preview. All right, so I got a little chatty in the uh, in the auction house with the ladies there. Um, actually going to be trying to film a future video there. Got their permission, so that would be awesome. Um, can't really give you a, well, maybe if Sarah's nice enough, she can grab the camera and put it in the back seat there. Okay, so we just got a bag of stuff here. There's some baseball cards, stereoscopes, some comic books, and then over here, Cabbage Patch doll, an older one with a cloth face. No. And Adam's face. And my face. So that's your little preview. We're going to go over the hall obviously like we do uh, sure will. sarah loves setting up the table love it to look so professional <laughs> so. all right we're on to the next place now so stay tuned all right so we're at the next destination another auction house which oddly enough is behind a slaughterhouse which is right there <laughs> so it's a little interesting here but yeah there's our auction house right there go pick this stuff up hopefully this time i'll give you guys a preview in there that'd be nice but yeah auction house slaughterhouse auction house slaughterhouse all right small little hall here but we got some can you see what those are mm -hmm. playstation 2 game and Insulators. Insulators. and there's the slaughterhouse again all right one more stop like and then too. back to the house all right last stop of the day no uh trip to auction houses would be complete without trip to the rabbit barn <laughs> so didn't get a lot at this one but got some good stuff so um might just skip the uh preview on this one and show you what we got when we get back to the house so that's probably what you're gonna see next Alrighty, we are back home, and Sarah has displayed pew, 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 our pew, pew, pew. finds. 
I'll on the I'll table. The I'll let you just drink this in for a moment. It's a lot. <laughs> <It's not that laughs> Didn't much. really realize it until we went picked it all up, but there's a lot here and a lot of good stuff here. So we'll get started with this stuff right in front. Um, these are all laser discs, um, and a lot of them have not been opened ever. Um, so there's quite a few of them in here that are worth, there's like a mystery disc, which is like you pick your own adventure type thing. Um, those are open. Wall Street, good movie. Um, I've never heard of this movie, to be honest with you. Great Escape, also a good movie. Look at that. Star Wars. That's going to be a good one. It's open, but... Um, Gas Pump Girls? I think that's a little scandalous. We got Saturday Night Fever. This has never been opened. Harvey and Son. Pink Floyd in concert. Check that out. There's a Playboy one in here, too. We gotta make sure we can sell it, but... Uh, moving along from those... Okay. Moving along from those, we got some uh, unopened packs of cards here. Um, these are Tops traded from 1991. Then we got um, more Tops traded uh, wax packs from 1990. Um, I think this is actually complete. Nope, it might be missing one, but it's really close. Uh, we're probably going to sell them individually, but we may sell it a little lot. I'm not sure yet. And then we got some more wax packs here. These are uh, Major League Baseball wax packs. Uh, not very many in here, but enough. And a lot of really old comics. These are uh, Most of these are DC comics, um, war comics. Uh, we've got some Batman in here. We've got what, what do we got? All right, we added a little bit of a tragedy there. I dropped some comic books. We're okay now. So They're we've got there. some old comics. I'm not going to pick them up and drop them again. But we got ones, you know, from uh, depicting World War II things. We've got more of that. Um, got some Army ones in here. Some old DC. There's Wonder Woman in here. Superboy and the Legion of Superheroes. Pretty cool. Um, so, all kinds of stuff there. Then we got some Vampirella comic books. Um, these are worth some money. Vampirella. The whole box in here is Vampirella comics. They're a little scandalous. <laughs> but, um, people pay big money for them. So, those are worth some money there. We got some new, uh, older stock toys. Captain Planet and the Addams Family back here. Got some vintage uh, magnets for your fridge. Got some random toys there. We got a um, PlayStation 2 game. We got some more uh, vintage comics. These are all DC again. I think there's some Marvel mixed in here. Yeah, there's a Hulk comic I see right there. Um, yeah, Teen Titans. Wonder Woman. There is some Marvel in here, I promise. I just can't find it at the moment. Um, <clears throat> then we got this. What did we call this? What is this actually called? What is it? It's a cabbage patch. It's oh, made by the same um, guy. So it's, they're called like cloth kids or something. I don't, I don't even know. It's like a pre cabbage patch, or like they did yeah. make them with them at the same time. But the tag on it is a little different. See, it's like embroidered. The little people, that's what it is. Cloth little people. Cabbage patch kid. Yeah. They have like red butts and like red heads. They have a flushed look They're to them. They're soft. Yeah, they have the soft head instead. It looks like she wet or dying pee. Mm -hmm. <laughs> then we got some, uh, we got a vintage camo hunting cloth. This one right here. Yeah, and then this one's a little newer. It's more like a rubber slicker type thing. Yeah. And we got some ephemera. We got some old army stuff from the 40s. In here, some uh, Mother Goose Christmas Carol. There's some Boy Scout stuff in oh, here. Yeah, here's the Boy Scouts. Oh, the Boy Scout stuff's over here. Then we got these vintage Mad magazines uh, from the 50s. Yep. Uh, these are worth, worth about 20 bucks a piece. Oh, and if you guys see these, um, these are worth some money. They're all over the place, but I think at minimum, this Cabbage Patch is going to be worth right around $100. So, you guys see those. Oh, we just sold something. Uh, so anyways, back to the Mad Magazines. These are from the 50s, and they actually are worth some money. The newer 80s ones aren't worth as much. These actually are. They're worth about $20 each. 
So, um, and then we've got some Boy Scout uh, books here. We got nature merit badges. We got marksmanship merit badges. <laughs> I don't think they hand those out anymore, but <laughs> then we got a vintage Bon Appetit cookbook here. And we got some insulators, these blue insulators. Um, another stereoscope right here. And these are the slides that go with it. San Francisco Earthquake and Fire. Yeah, that's awesome. Yeah, that's pretty cool. And then the last thing we got are these. You guys saw a little sneak preview of what these are. These are cabbage patch kit. They're cabbage patch. Cabbage garbage pail kits. A cabbage patch on the brain. These are garbage pail kits from the 1980s. These uh, one series is 86 and one series is 87. Um, not anything earth shattering in here, but they are worth some money. So, um, yay. They're going to definitely sell pretty easily. Then we got uh, this proof. These are coin proofs from 1993. Just keep that. We might just keep them. And then last, we got these. These are Harley nice. Davidson gloves. They're worth about 20 bucks. Um, women's gloves. Pretty nice. And that's about it. Uh, it's a lot, as you could see. Uh -huh. so, and we got a cat. We got an orange cat. We paid $5 for <laughs> We think he's worth right We tried to leave him there, yeah. but... He followed us home. We think he's worth about 10 <laughs> plus shipping. <laughs> plus shipping on top. <laughs> and he's out of here. He doesn't like that idea. Maybe 15. He'll come back. <laughs> All right, and that's it, guys. I'm going to interrupt myself real quick because I forgot to show you guys something. It's pretty cool. Okay. So you're going to have to wait on the uh, subscribing comments that I'm about to make. Uh, so this is one of our favorite movies. This is Death Wish by Charles Bronson. And just by happenstance, I bought most of those laser discs sight unseen. Look what's in it. Same movie. And it's not opened. It's pretty awesome. I think we're going to keep it for ourselves, but I did want to share that with you. That's pretty awesome find for us. Uh, I don't know about anybody else, but for us, it's pretty awesome. All right, back to me talking to you. Um, I'm going to wrap that video up here. I uh, hope you enjoyed it. You know, and uh, if you did, make sure to subscribe to the channel. Just click the subscribe button down below. Would really appreciate it. Jesus. Something fell. Cats knocking things off. That's good. Perfect. <laughs> yeah. So if you want to see cats knocking things off of our table, then subscribe to the channel. Or if you want to see more vintage finds, that's probably why you'd subscribe. But we'll throw a cat in there every now and again. So click that subscribe button. And if you like this video, give it a like. Really appreciate it. Thanks so much for watching. Bye. Good day, sir.